Hello everyone, this is YouTube Media. This tutorial is going to be how to check your computer's temperature from the temperature of your CPU or processor, hard drive, or graphics cards, and including the fan speed of those components. This will really help you know what needs to be upgraded the most in your uh, computer and to improve cooling and possible computer lifetime. Now if you have a desktop then, and if you have some experience you know, modifying or building desktops, it's usually the CPU cooler that needs to be upgraded the most, especially if you're using stock cooling, it could always use a better third-party CPU cooler and some new thermal paste as long as you have some experience, you know, modifying a desktop. Now, if it's a laptop, I would not bother. You know, it's easy to change RAM and hard drive, but as far as opening it up to change heat sinks and cooling, all that, wouldn't even bother. But if you have a desktop, this will really help you know what's going on in your system and what could use some improvement. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you. The first software we're going to be using is called PC Wizard 2010. It says 2009, but it's free to download. The link is in the description. This will let you know the temperature of all your system's components. It's compatible with 32 and 64 bit. So let's go ahead and open that up once you download it. PC Wizard 2010. All right, so here it is. Now there's a bunch of different buttons that will go into the that will go into the details of your speed and voltage and all that. But what you just want to do is click this one down here. It says voltage, temperature, and fans. And there you go. That's pretty much all. You just go ahead and now it displays your processor. If you have multiple cores, it'll display the temperature for each core. So I'm running at about 39 degrees Celsius, which isn't too bad. Uh, right here, the graphics card is 30 degrees, and I'm running at 20. 1% fan speed. As I said, it also tells you your fan speed. Uh, 911 rotations per minute. If you s open it, expand it down a little bit, here's my hard drive. It's a Kingston 32 degrees Celsius. So none of these temperatures are really bad. Um, you know, it all will vary if you're on idle or if you're on full load, like running a full video game, playing intensely on three monitors. Um, but personally, I would never let any component get over uh, 60, 65 degrees. Anything over 60 for me is way too hot. Um, I think the max is generally like 65, 75, but I would never let anything get over 60 for myself. But So this is about it. You just go ahead and it tells you all your temperatures. So this is really handy when your fan speed is really running or you're rendering a video. You can check out if everything's okay. Now one other thing I want to note is the temperatures are not updated continuously in live time. So if temperatures have changed, you need to click a button above it, then click back, and it'll update to the new temperatures. But that's not that hard. You just click a button, then click back. Also, if you go up to the top, you can see click on the processor button. There's some other ones you can check out. I'm not going to go too in-depth as this is based this video is for checking temperature, but you can quickly see your cores, the percentage use of each of your CPU cores, and there's some other stuff you can go into detail like on the uh, GPUs and stuff. Now also, if you have a laptop, it might not display your graphics card temperature. For some reason on my laptop, the graphics card does not even pop up. I guess it's because it's integrated graphics or something, or um, maybe only desktop. You have to have an individual third-party uh, graphics card or something, but for the most part it won't, I mean, it'll have most of the temperatures like CPU, hard drive, graphics card, but there might be one missing or two. Um, now if you have a Mac, um, you're going to have to do a different program called iSlayer or iStat. This will be in the description below. It's a little widget. It looks like this, and this will display the temperatures and speeds of everything on your computer. So that's about it. Go ahead and check out the links in the description below, and post a comment on what your CPU temperature is. See if anyone can beat mine. Probably. Mine's not that cold. Thanks for watching.